G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up something that I can't say I've seen before. This particular one is a Logitech Flight Yoke System. And this particular one has had a shorted out power pack. A wrong potential wrong voltage has been connected up to here. So what I want to do is open it up and have a look at the PCB. So far it looks like there's this Phillips head screws holding this all together. If I had my drill here, this would be a lot quicker, but you'll get the point. I'll just quickly skip from here to all screws removed. And if I notice any differences in size, I'll mention. So I've removed all these ones along here, and there is still two down here, two smaller ones. Yep, just a fraction smaller than the rest. Yeah, all those taken out now. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Now we're in. And we see what we see with virtually every other video. This is all pretty fairly greased up. But all here, I'm virtually ignoring all that. And I want to have a look over here, which is what I don't usually see too much of. Turn it like that way. I'll zoom in on there as well. Give you guys a closer look at the board. Hopefully see some info that you would like to know about it over here. What I'm suspecting has happened is one of these two major chips here have fried when the extra power was added. Weirdly. No, no, the wire. Never mind. Doesn't look to be too much holding that in. That looks a bit two screws down here. One. Two. And they look to be, those ones there are the same size as the two screws that I've taken out from the front. So the two smaller screws are of the same size. Probably pull this up. Okay. So the power jack going into here. Oh, sorry. There you guys go. A much better look from there. I'm trying to see if there's anything blown or anything that looks very suspicious, but mostly it's looking pretty clean. Turn it over around the other way. We have this going off to the USB. Okay. You know, it doesn't look like it'd be very fun replacing all the wires if I had to. So I think it'd be more replacing the boards. You can already tell that this particular one here looks to be a USB chip of some variety. I'm just going by its name. USB 2504-JJSMSC. So I'm just going to type that into Google and see what I find. So looking up these two chips, the one on the left here the SM, SMSC is a USB hub controller, 2.0. So that's controlling these three USB ports here. But what I suspect may have blown is this one here, the smaller one out of the bunch. I don't think I can zoom in any further for you, sorry. It has the model CY7C64215-5. Five, six L. What this particular one is, is a USB microcontroller. So looking online, it seems to be coming up as a full speed USB controller, flexible, programmable, uh, what is it, PSOC. So this particular one I'm assuming is the controller chip for all the inputs and that's the primary one that operates on here. So if this one blew, 
these three here won't work. Right now when I plug in the USB cable, which I've got it plugged in, this chip here, the computer's not seeing anything. This is the first chip that I believe the computer will talk to once USB is plugged in. So I suspect that this chip here has blown when the extra power was added. So hopefully simply replacing this SOC, or PSOC as it's called, Programmable System on a Chip, I'm assuming that stands for, I should be able to get this going again. Sadly, I'm yet to see if I can actually get one of these or the time frame for me to get one of these. So right now this is gonna go on the back burner until I get that. Um, I won't, probably won't have the footage of it getting replaced, but I'll be using a hot air gun. So about a $250 hot air gun to get that off. And I should be able to replace it relatively easily, hopefully with avoiding knocking any of the capacitors that are around it. You could potentially go down the path of replacing the board, but I'd personally rather replace this a single chip than trying to clear all this and reattach each individual wire, as you can see along here, which looks like almost that it was almost done by hand initially, going by the solder on there. It doesn't look machine-like. Same with over here. These two go into this capacity here. Look very hand done. So that's my plan of attack for this particular one. Hope you can see the particular information that you want to get off this board in this video. As I said, I wouldn't really recommend replacing the whole board as that looks to be quite challenging to do that. Granted, your soldering schools may be different to mine where I'd rather just tackle one big so uh, hot air chip swap as opposed to individually salt cutting and soldering in these cables. Anyway, that will do for today. Hope this helps, and I'll catch you later. Bye.